our favorite mom slayer, or maybe our second favorite mom slayer now that uh that Zach Wilson is number one. Um, Josh Gaddis, man. Oh, I was he, gonna say <laughs> he popped Again, off on we, we will reiterate my point from the beginning of the show. Coaches need to shut the fuck up. I mean, for I mean, my, for me, I don't and care. I almost commented on it, but I don't want to get into it on Twitter with this fucking guy. Like, I've watched every snap of Michigan football since I well, really. Since I got hired at Ohio State in 2012, every single snap, I studied them every year. Obviously, we played them. We mm -hmm. studied them in the offseason. I got fired and started the show, and guess what? I watched every snap and studied them. Josh Gaddis, his offense dr drastically changed last year, dr dramatically. And for him to sit here and have the audacious claim that nothing changed. No, it, it's been the offense that he's been running. And then he had tried to throw like 2018 Bama in there. Like they, he had any control at Bama. This motherfucker didn't do shit at Bama, but tell the wideouts what to do. I know for a fact, I know several coaches there. I know Mike Loxley, the one that was actually designing the game plan, actually calling the plays, actually running the show. And so I, I've actually watched some of Josh Gaddis's clinic stuff. And the guy knows football. Like he's, yeah. he's learned these plays, but that, is, that was not his offense, right? That was and if, and if it was, he pivoted, he changed. It was far more power run game, far more pullers. Like far, it was a dra dramatically different offense. Josh Gaddis to pop off and say, this has been the offense he ran since yeah. day one. That shit pisses me off. So it's not what for you some, For ran. some background on this, for some background on this, there, he did a clinic and he was talking about this offense that he ran and how he'd always run it. And then a clip of it got posted on Twitter. Then Miami fans and Michigan fans were arguing about whose offense that was and who was calling the plays. Now, Josh Gaddis was not tagged in it, which means he had to search his own name and find it himself and opted to go back and forth with a Miami fan about whose offense it was and who was calling plays and how it didn't change at all. It just had a little bit of flair is what he said. So here's the problem, right? And here's here's where you know, right? It's like the guy that walks around talking about he, he – you know, he he pulls a bunch of chicks, has a big dick, and, and is great in bed. Like the guy that's out there spouting that bullshit, like he it's all it's all small dick energy, right? Mm -hmm. Micro dick energy. Like he's not <laughs> any of that. If you have to say it, then you're not, right? Ryan Day has never tooted his horn about like my offense is this, my offense, bitch, it's not your offense, right? It is a collection of all the offensive coaches developing and enhancing an offense, and then it's your quarterback's offense. It is Chris Olave's offense. It is J.K. Dobbins' offense. It's not your offense, you pretentious bitch. Like, it's just, it's comical. And these guys, I mean, they're, they're out there, right? Then they sell their offense on DVD to, to high school coaches. It's like they're, they're riding this selfish yeah. branding world where it's like, it is not your offense. It is a collection of people. Like, there's a lot of people making a lot of money meeting for eight hours a day, developing the run game, the pass game, like, the, the game plan. It is not just you. And when people say that, like, I've been running my offense, it's like, shut up. You've mm -hmm. already lost me. I can already tell you're incompetent and it's not your offense because it's Ed Warner used to do that shit. Well, I'm the offensive coordinator. I call the plays. It's my offense. It's like, but in reality, like, no, it's not. No, you don't. And just because you scream it loud doesn't make it true. And to go on Twitter at a fan of your former fan base, like, that's just what feels weird to me. Because this, this is the same Josh Gaddis that when all those rumors were swirling with, uh, you know, a receiver's uh, mom, he went on Twitter and turned off all of his comments. You couldn't you couldn't reply back to Josh Gaddis unless he mentioned you. But now he's on well, this terror. I mean, and all, and he's all I know you. is th this is small dick energy mm -hmm. to be on Twitter, like trying to fight for the public perception that you you it was your offense and you know what you're doing. That just screams that you're incompetent. I mean, it screams that you're masking for the fact that you're not any good. And on top of that, Speaking of small dick energy, he slept with the recruit's mom, and the recruit didn't come. So, so the, and the mom didn't come either. So it, it, he he really, I mean, taking L's left and right right now. And let's just hope Miami goes out and is just dynamic on offense because this is going to blow up in his face in a major way. Major. Yeah. Well, well, the thing is, he's got to tighten it up because this doesn't seem like something Mario Cristobal would like. Like Mario Cristobal, super squared. I'm I'm sure he doesn't want is someone on Twitter. Like a, a staffer on Twitter arguing with a fan of a former fan base. No, it feels no, like it's... Josh Gaddis has kind of rode the coattails of, of Loxley, you know, taking credit for a lot that Loxley did, and then literally one sec, one good year at Michigan because of a slew of other things, and all of a sudden <laughs> Gaddis feels like he should be mentioned with with the Sarks of the world. Yeah, What's up it, with Buddy? Well, that's what it is. It's it people that sometimes people that are that are 
I don't even want to say incompetent. He's not incompetent. I watched I watched a couple mm. clinic tapes. Like he he speaks. I mean, he you can tell he knows football, but it's just a guy screaming. I am really good at my job loudly. And when people do that, it's like, damn, he must not be very good at his job, right? Like you never saw, you don't see Elon Musk coming out like, I'm the greatest CEO ever. Like I I can run companies because I'm great. Like, no, he just runs companies and they make money, right? Like Urban Meyer never came out. Nick Saban doesn't come out and say, I'm the greatest coach. Uh, I'm a great coach. Like I'm the greatest head coach of all time. He doesn't say that because guess what? We say it because we see it. (laughs) It's like great movies, Zach. Like, how many commercials did you see for, the like, some of the huge films? There were hardly any Harry Potter commercials that ran. There were right. hardly any Star Wars commercials that ran. What you saw was all these <laughs> other sidebar movies that run their commercials all the time, talking about number one movie in America. I don't know who's ranking them number one, whatever. Those are the loudest and those always do the worst in the box office. That's just generally how it goes. Because yeah. when you're good at something, the product a lot of times will sell itself. And if you're good at, at offense, don't worry, your time will come. You don't have to... You don't have to yell at me on Twitter. Like, you're yelling at Twitter gurus about football, about schematics.